Quavo has officially responded to Chris Brown. And I don't know how I feel about the record, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I've listened to it quite quite some time since it got released. And, you know, Takeoff is featured in it. Uh, rest in peace to Takeoff. And it, honestly, it works well with Takeoff. That's the thing I like about the record is that it sounds like Takeoff's actually in the track, you know, going at Chris Brown in a way. But do, it, do I think lyrically it, or the energy doesn't match Chris Brown's? I don't know, man. Um, so let's go over the track. Uh, the track is called Over Hoes and Bitches. And, you know, Quavo basically goes, you know, a couple of bars over at a lot of stuff that, um, that you know, uh, Chris Brown has has dealt with in his life. So let's go over it, man. Uh, intro, it starts out, push the guy, pull up, crash out about your bay. Little bitch, come dance, battle with my Drake. Uh, you've been fucked your bag up when you punched Ree in the face. So he's responding to Kent, uh, Chris Brown saying, I should have fucked you up at the fashion show, but I didn't want to mess up my bag. And he said, you messed up your bag a long time ago when you abused Rihanna. Uh, talking about fashion week, you sparring who? Come punch me in my face. It ain't nothing but a fade. You know, you lost to Frank. So this reports that, you know, um, Frank Ocean and Chris Brown apparently fought each other uh, at a parking lot. They're arguing over a parking lot, parking space, which is the dumbest thing ever. And, um, you know, um, there were a lot of stuff back and forth that happened. Uh, Chris Brown attempted to shake Frank Ocean's hand. Frank Ocean declined, and then uh, Chris Brown punched Frank Ocean in the face. And then two members of Brown's entourage joined in, pushing Ocean into a corner and attempting to kick him. Uh, the police report stated that Brown threatened to shoot Ocean, saying we can bust your ass on your ass too. Additionally, Ocean, who had previously revealed his relationship with a man in an open letter a year before, mentioned that at some point during the two, uh, three-minute altercation, someone in Brown's group shouted slurs towards him. Uh, ultimately, Frank Ocean did not press any charges. Um, and then he's saying you lost Frank. Frank whooped your ass, but it looks like Chris Brown's the one that did it. Uh, he said, guys ran into your house, tied up your uh, aunt because you ain't pay. Um, this is referring to 2015 robbery in San Fernando Valley home where his aunt was tied up. Um, Quavo was insinuating that the robbery was relation uh, was retaliation for Chris Brown not paying his debt. Yeah, something happened there, man. If they got access to uh, your house the way that they did, uh, something's weird there. Uh, he says, the bullet got your name. Don't ever bring up take pussy. You know, half y'all guys, some hoes out here, and this is where takeoff starts. To, I'm talking about these guys bleed once a month type shit, which is hilarious. So takeoff's got his own thing where he kind of has this hook going on that you're a pussy and all this stuff, um, which fits well. I mean, give it up to Quavo for that. But, you know, he continues on, and this is like kind of, it's really one verse, and then it's takeoff doing his hook again. So this is what Quavo says. Low boy want to die about some coochie. You still fucked up about Carucci. You know, uh, Quavo, Dayton, Carucci started a lot of this stuff. You try to be up Tiana Taylor, but Usher wouldn't let you do it. That's another uh, thing that happened back in 2023 on May 5th. Uh, Usher threw a surprise party. Uh, Chris Brown attended in Las Vegas. Allegedly, Chris Brown got drunk and approached, and approached model singer Tiana Taylor and got very disrespectful with her. But it was reported that Usher attempted to calm the situation down, which made Chris very upset, in which he called Usher a coward and yelled, I don't care, fuck her. After Chris Brown left with his crew, Usher followed him to his bus, which led to Brown's crew jumping Usher to the point where he got a bloody nose. Uh, both artists were set to perform at 2023 Lovers and Friends Festival later that night, in which they both did. Um... So he's calling this out, saying the cocaine got him, Your Honor. Uh, bipolar disorder, no wonder. You was the greatest. Uh, you fumbled, going out sad. I'm watching you crumble. Why they got Quavo out here going back and forth with a singer that turned to a junkie? Now we got light skin versus brown skin. A uh, guy finna dive. Uh, you're finna divide the country. You ain't been in the trenches. We stomp in the yard. You know how that ended. You know, stomp the yard. Chris Brown got killed in the movie. Uh, want smoke with me? OHB mean fighting over hoes and bitches. Who gassed you? Who gassed you up to put that out? Yeah, that was shitty. I can take a model bitch or make a sweetie. Interesting enough. Crackhead Michael Jackson bitch. You better beat it, which is hilarious. Uh, I'm still fucked up about takeoff. I don't. I want who did it. But that's some real street shit. Back to the industry, where your baby mama's at. No, they got plenty tea. Pussy. Every time you see me, keep that energy. Can't believe I gotta beat you about some women beef. 
and then the takeoff verse comes in. So, um, you know, Chris Brown responded to this, and I, I honestly, I, I agree with Chris Brown's response. Uh, let's see, I forget what he what he posted. Let's see your uh, response to Quavo. Quavo dis. That's what he posted on his story. His Instagram stories. A bunch of laughing emojis. He said, Google raps. That shit is poo. Damn, and I was excited. That shit don't even need a response. Take off rap better. So Chris Brown's saying, I'm not going to respond to this. He's basically basically ending the rap battle, which is unfortunate. I think Chris Brown should respond just to, just to put the nail in the coffin. You already cooked him with that other record. Put the nail in the coffin, end this. Um, I do agree, though. A lot of the stuff that Quavo said, the record was all right. You know, take off did his thing, and then Quavo, I don't know, just the record, like the Chris Brown should just hit a lot harder. The beat's better. Delivery's better. Uh, Chris Brown said a lot more, I think, intriguing things, at least to me. Um, this record was, it was a good effort, but Chris Brown got Quavo on that. And I think Quavo, Quavo um, tried his best, man. I think uh, Takeoff being on it, insinuating that he's like joining in on the beef despite him passing away, it was a great move. I think it was a really great move. I think that's the best part about the track. But other than that, Quavo spit one verse and didn't really say much that was, you know, really, oh my God. Like, so, and then Sweetie posts that Quavo was like still in her DMs. She said, hopefully the model he turns into me replies. Um, you know, uh, this is, this is, what's funny is the date of this screenshot of what he screen, of what she screenshot. The date of it is January 14th, 2024. That night, she was sitting courtside with Chris Brown at a basketball game. So Quavo probably was still in his feelings about Chris Brown dating Sweetie. That's why he hit her up that night and said, damn, we used to, we used to mean as fuck. To, we used to be mean as fuck to each other. So he probably just mentioned about some stuff and was like, I'm sorry for being an asshole, blah, blah, blah. Um, so he probably has some feelings about Sweet, like the Chris Brown dated her. Um, even though he's in the records, he's saying she's just another thought that I was dating. I don't I could care less. But in the messages, it seems like he's upset uh, that Sweetie was dating Chris Brown. So somebody's in their feelings pretending like they're not in their feelings. And Chris Brown's in his feelings as well. Um, two guys that have dated each other's exes that are still upset about each other's exes. That's basically what this is. Um, it's unfortunate because it's very corny. I think once, once somebody's an ex after, I don't know, man, for me, if I break up with a girl, I've never gone back personally, but I'm kind of over the situation, man. I think, uh, if I break up with somebody, I have a fallout, the most I'll give it probably six months if I ever want to get back with that person. That's a long time. But after a while, you know, people change, man. They move on. They, 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 they people change. People evolve, man. Some people evolve quick. And I'm not interested, man. I remember a girl coming back to me years later was interested in me. I said, listen, that ship, just, just, ugh, that shit sailed a long time ago. I was interested in you back then. Now we're like four or five years down the line. I'm a totally different person. I'm sure you're a totally different person. I would hope you are after all these years and you've evolved. I got no interest in you anymore. Sorry. I don't know with the, how long their relation. I know Karuchi and Chris Brown dated all the way back until 2015. So it's been a long time, almost 10 years. Chris Brown, let that shit go. Whatever happened, move on. You got, you're a multimillionaire. You can get any woman that you want and you're still obsessed about that. Same with Quavo, multimillionaire. You can get any woman you want, still obsessed about her. All about females and women. That's all this shit's about. So, yeah, we'll keep our eyes posted since I don't think Chris Brown's going to respond. He's kind of made it clear. His Google Raps garbage shit. And honestly, I think he won, man. If I'm looking at the whole thing right now, as of as of right now, I think he won. I think he got the better diss track. So, we'll keep our eyes posted.